Hey, good morning and happy Aloha Friday. Just one more week before winter break. Uh, full moon today, so I do expect it to be kind of a crazy end to the week. Um, this is one of my favorite times of year. I really love Christmas and that idea of gift giving and that kind of thing. Um, community that comes during this time of year is um, something that I really do enjoy. And I just wanted to think, kind of think about how learning is kind of a gift. Um, there are so many teachable moments that happen throughout a day. And, um, you know, I would encourage you to embrace those kinds of teachable moments. Um, you know, recently while I was grocery shopping, I was watching a parent um, take their child and, you know, compare different items, you know, trying to calculate the discount of how much percent off certain things were, you know, the family sized versus the regular one and that kind of thing. And those types of, you know, real world experiences really help kids um, see how what we do in school can be applied in the real world. I can still remember my parents on vacations giving us maps and they had highlighted the route we were going to go on back in the day when we would use paper maps and those kinds of things. Um, you know, another one was in our labs we were doing this week. Um, some kids were making some really good connections between using vinegar, you know, acidic acid as a cleaning agent here in Indiana because of the amount of uh, calcium carbonate in our water and how that has a tendency to scale up on counters and surfaces and things like that. And so, um, you know, vinegar is really great at dissolving that. And so, uh, again, kind of seeing those real world examples of uh, chemical reactions taking place um, here in the classroom and then seeing how that applies outside the classroom. So, um, you know, really enjoy seeing that. And when you see an opportunity to make those kinds of connections, uh, please jump on those. Um, also, uh, now that we're kind of in the, the Christmas season and starting the new year, it's a good opportunity to kind of take stock of different, um, you know, office supplies and things like that. I will freely admit I am a nerd when it comes to office supplies. Uh, they make great stocking stuffers, but, you know, some guys like to look at cars, some guys like sports. I like office supplies. It drives my wife nuts. Um, but I'll put some links in here to uh, what my suggestions would be as far as quality products, um, as far as, you know, pens, pencils, highlighters, those kinds of things. Um, know that, though, I do have classroom sets of these things. So if, um, you know, uh, that's just something that you, you know, are unable to do, don't worry. I have, you know, I have tons of pencils. I have tons of markers, colored pencils, those highlighters, those kinds of things. And so it's not something that um, you should worry about. I have everything that the kids need here in class, but it is a great way to kind of show, um, you know, show to students that, you know, you know that uh, school is important and organization is important and you need to come to, to work with the items that you need to be successful. And so, um, you know, that would be uh, a great thing to kind of put in their stockings as far as, you know, office supplies, um, much better than, you know, candy and those kinds of things, which, you know, you know, my feelings on that. Um, as far as some important dates, okay, so next week is going to be um, finals week. Uh, basically, we're gonna be spending Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday um, reviewing. And then it, we're going to have block schedules on Thursday and Friday for those finals. Um, really looking at the critical skills uh, for chemistry in science and then biology. Uh, we'll be going back over just like the review of um, macromolecules, uh, cells, cell function, cell respiration, photosynthesis, and then DNA all the way up through protein synthesis. And so that'll be what's going down in biology. Um, the, the test in science is about only about 40 questions or so. The test in biology will be about 90 questions. So 
Um, the test we use in biology is the same test that we use at the high school. And so that is a common assessment across all of Center Grove. So please have a great winter break. I will probably not do a uh, message next week as we head into winter break. So as always, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, do not hesitate to drop those in the comments or just shoot me an email. I'll get back to you as quick as I can. So have a great break.